Linus, you need to fly us to Kambani. There's <laughs> been on and off tour by the president. Right now, it is on. Uh, but interestingly, it will be in Machakos and Makweni. There is um, every indication that we have that the president will visit Konza. Then, he, then he'll visit Swake, but there is quite some... It's not very clear, actually, what will happen right. with Kitui. But, yeah. but an interesting tour. Yeah. Season of tours, perhaps. Uh, let me fly you there and uh, let, me let me borrow Kalonzo's chopper. He was <laughs> there yesterday, uh, former vice president, to one of the hosts of the president. I think we do have a sound bite uh, of him speaking while in that preparatory tour. Yeah. Let's listen to Kalonzo. <laughs> we are not even relying for purposes of the NASA coalition parties getting the money. We are not relying on what Raila is talking about, presidential vote, nullified or not nullified, under the detailed guidelines signed by all the principals, including uh, ODM uh, party leader. Imeonyesha wazi, Ken. Kwamba, hiyo pesa itagawa kulingana na viti ambavyo vyama wambawa na ushika, i.e. ODM, Wiper, ANC, Mashinani, Ford Kenya. The five of us. Kulingana na wajumbe ambao atakuwa meenda kwa bunge. Basi mugawa pesa atakuwa uh, utakuwa ukifananishwa na the number of seats. It went beyond that. That's why I'm saying my brother has not read it. <laughs> truth be told. And I want them to show him. Because I think when I'm feature, the truth. Lots of politicking in uh, Ukambani yesterday when uh, Kalonzo Musioka, the WIPA leader, uh, was conducting a preparatory tour of the places the president will visit uh, tomorrow. But I don't know what Kenyans should make of the prelude to this visit. It has been uh, quite controversial. Uh, we read and hear and cover about differences between the Ukambani leaders mm -hmm. Uh, on how the tour should be conducted. Should it be in all the three Ukambani uh, counties or not? Who is hosting the president and things like that. And uh, it raises a, a very disturbing uh, element here. Yeah. Um, the president is constitutionally the symbol of national unity. He runs an independent office, which he renamed the presidency. and. Uh, it's getting rather irritating to see the visits by the president to the regions being treated as if they are state visits to a foreign uh, country. And, and you know very well there was a reporter uh, just the other day uh, who spoke about uh, the president making a state visit to Kisumu. Uh, probably may not be wrong considering how uh, Kenyans and, and politicians are behaving around these presidential visits. And, and for some of us who witnessed what previous presidents did in terms of setting precedent on how you uh, conduct national affairs, you visit the regions at your own, um, um, on, on your own, uh, uh, basically, will. Yeah. And, and you... And terms, yeah. And, and, and terms. You own the agenda. Um, we don't want to see these things like what we are seeing with the Kambadi. Now, if he goes to Kisi, you'll see another caucus of who will host him and, and things like that. I think it is eroding something about the presidency because it's reducing a president to uh, a closed office of a president who will tour the country on invitation and on the terms of the so-called uh, local leaders. What happened to that symbol of national unity that makes those road stops wherever, grits on Ainchi, without the shield of local factors. And, and we've seen that actually quite a bit, where, for example, there was that meeting, we, we saw the, the three governors mm. initially, and you know they had their own meeting, and they would say, oh, this is a, a purely development-driven um, um, visit, and so we don't want people to come and uh, uh, try to score political points. That was seen as 
targeting Kalonzo Musioka. Right now, there is a tussle in Kitui County, which is why the, the, the president may not be going there just yet, because there is a tussle, um, uh, some say it's between the governor and the senator about where the president should visit. Mm. There are certain um, uh, projects there, for example, where there's, been, yeah, where there's been a real debate, a real argument about um, the how it, it came about, whether the, everything was above board. There is also um, uh, uh, the, the Kalonzo Musioka, um, for, from, from what uh, we are being told by the sources, is that he wanted the president to have lunch at his place and host him there. Uh, obviously, with all the political <laughs> push and pull that we have seen there, they are, they are not very keen on that. Um, some saying, well, he should just... Uh, open the Kibwezi road, uh, the road that goes from K K Kitui all the way to Savo East and, mm. and, and all of that. And there have been issues there around um, compensation of, of, of people whose land was taken up by the road. But essentially, it underscores what Linus is saying, that these uh, kinds of visits ought to be seen as national visits that happen as a matter of course, because the president is the president of the whole oh, republic. Country, yeah as to why suddenly there have become all these uh, subjects of political jostling mm. where mm. Uh, politicians try to use their perceived closeness to the president to kind of score political points. Like, it's ridiculous. I mean, what what is it? Because the president surely should be able to go anywhere he wants, whenever he wants. But uh, it seems that uh, politicians have this very queer habit of attempting now to hang on the president's court and so that you are seen as the one bringing the mm. president, you are seen as the one that the president is closest to, you are seen as the one that uh, the president has, uh, who's, who's, who, who's, who, who, who the president listens to more than the rest. I mean, I think it, it, it really says something about our politics, which is, to say the least, quite disturbing. Uh, my question is, who is setting the agenda for this visit? <clears throat> is it the president? or is it uh, the leaders from the region? Because it seems like it is the other way around. So as long as there's jostling, you know, it's sort of let them sort out their issues first and then mm. I will come visit. Um, but if the president is, you know, doing a tour of the region, then he just tours the region. Um, you know, whether he will have lunch at whose house or, you know, which governor is he close to. But it, it seems, you know, the dog, the tail wagging the dog rather than you know the other way mm. around and and that is sad for me for the executive and for the president who can today wake up and go visit northeastern if he so wishes if he so wishes yeah. without it okay you know so what have they said but you notice they're always preceded by and i guess you know it's good courtesy and uh, you know in in politics like even the one that was to kisumu you know it was preceded by the visit uh from the leaders from that region to state house and discuss the agenda and then we're going there um but you know it's it's for me it's an interesting thing of just who sets the agenda and then how um the president and his visit then gets embroiled in some very local politics that surely should be above the president and i just spoke about i should one second he spoke about how hanging uh, on the president's tail coats reminds me of of the story of the king and the steward who wanted him to whisper in his ear in public <laughs> to be seen to be very close to the king you've given the story and yes, it's really i have and it's that, relevant here that, that yes. comes to mind like nani ako karibu na rais yeah. basically when he goes for those visits and then now the goodies are always expected during Moe's time it was a picture it was you know, a picture. if you went to someone's <laughs> office and found his picture <laughs> with, <laughs> with you. Mutuku for right. yes it was a big statement mm -hmm. you get what you want before the era of photoshop, photoshop. yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, photos were those real. were real real oh, photos yes. 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 but then now we talk about president and goodies come yeah. to, like yesterday I was watching um, Kalonzo Musioka going around and you were seeing some of the projects the president was going to launch like the Thwake and others. Konza City. City. Mm. So, so Rais Anakuja na Anakuja na Zawadi. But then, for, for me, it, 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 it's... So what picture is being, is being painted in, in the minds of, of, of people who will... Wanainchi wale wakawaida amba watakuja kumangalia makumsikiza Rais. In terms of now, amekuja ando hii project na lontiwa that... I, for, for me, it feels yes. like anapasa yes. kuenda pali anapataka kuenda as you were saying, yeah. even if hakuji na goodies, Rais amekuja kutuzuru, yeah. kuja kutuona, mm -hmm. just to see us as the people who voted for him, or even if we didn't. So for me, these visits, I think there's too much fanfare before them uh, than should be. I, I, I don't know. Really. So every 
Will every region have to wait for its turn or they need to get some kingpins Send a to delegation to state yeah. house and then, <laughs> you know, start there. Yeah. Ordinarily, that shouldn't be the case. In any case, some of these projects that are being launched have benefits that are beyond that region. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. For example, Konza City, yeah. you can't say it's, it's an Okambani region mm -hmm. project. It's a national project. Uh, Thuake Dam that, that is being uh, constructed, it's not just an Okambani region project. It's a national project. Um, the railway, for example, um, from, <laughs> from Naivasha to counties, Kisumu yeah. and beyond. The port that was launched in Kisumu the other day in Lamu, the Lamu th those, port, are, yeah. those are not local projects, so to say. Those are national projects. The only challenge is that we are at a very political season. So everything that is being done is being looked at from the context of politics. Even the jostling that you saw in uh, preceding the, the Ukambani trip has everything to do with who is the kingpin, who is the boss, who calls the shots here. And the assumption will be, I am the one who brought the president to launch this project. Mm -hmm. So I have the president's mm -hmm. ear. So I push the government to bring this. Because the assumption normally is that the closer you are to, to the president, the, president mm, the more the development your region projects uh, that you get. Which, ought, which is a misnomer in my, in my opinion. Because, for example, there's a, there's a wind project in, uh, in Marsabit County, mm. for example. Another one in Truk There are major projects in Trukana. Yet some of those regions probably didn't even vote for the president. So you can't say these projects will only go to an area that voted for the government of the day. Distribution of projects and development should be across board, uh, regardless, or do I say irregardless, of how a region voted or didn't vote. But unfortunately, we're in a very political season, so everything that is being done will be looked at with the prism of politics, number one. Number two, um, for example, if there were, I have expected that President Uhuru Kenyatta would have gone to the Nyanza region Some and received the kind of reception that he did, that, or, that, that would, not, would not have been the case. However, the ideal scenario should be once we are done with, with an election, then the gov government of the day should be able to govern without any inhi inhibitions. However, that is the ideal situation. Kwa ground, reality ni kwamba, every region has its own political interests right. and development interests. And, and actually, um, I, I think it would be remiss of us to not see political, to see this through the political lenses. Yep. So you've got the One Kenya Alliance. What does this do um, for one of the uh, leading lights of that, who's now Kalonzo Musioka, mm -hmm. to have the president visit his region. In fact, in the sound clip we played uh, just you know earlier, he's still lamenting over the monies with NASA. I mean, it's clear that there's still a lot of um, unfinished business mm -hmm. there. And then there's the One Kenya Alliance. Um, you know, so it's sort of propping yourself up, as you see. I'm the one who's had the president visiting my region. Uh, you know, upping his stakes, uh, possibly, in that One Kenya Alliance. So I mean, you know, in as much as this is developmental, in any case, all of those projects were already launched. Mm -hmm. yeah. Konza te Techno City is, is a Vision 2030 flagship, uh, project. flagship project that precedes even President Uhuru Kenyatta's administration. So um, I think we might want to see this for what it is. This is a political trip. Um, and there will be a lot of things that will be said that will be political. In fact, there's one person on Twitter, Eston Kwach, who says, if local leaders cannot agree about the visit, then let the president just visit the region at night like he did when he was opening hospitals in Nairobi. Why not? When the president wants to uh, you know, development projects, he goes ahead and does it. So this, with all the delays option, back and forth, has option, of, has the option of going at night. So <laughs> this is, let's see it for what it is. This is politics at play with 13 months to the election, everybody looking to up their stakes in the eyes of the locals. And projects are a good thing. Let the projects continue because they have an economic impact and benefit but those continue to the anyway. people locally and yeah, nationally. But those continue I, but, 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 before we finish this one, we've seen <clears> that it's not just the Okambani, it's not just Nyanza, all of these things. There seems to be quite some uh, activity going on around the president. Mm -hmm. Because as Yvonne was saying, there is the One Kenya Alliance. Um, one would imagine that they, whatever happens there, they are hoping that um, they can get the backing of the president. Um, there is also um, um, Raila Odinga, who, who, who was speaking a little mm -hmm. bit earlier. Mm -hmm. and. Uh, his party is currently working on a coalition mm -hmm. arrangement with the president. He was asked uh, a little bit earlier, uh, and he said that um, he's not looking for the president's endorsement if he happens to run. 
Um, I don't know if we can but, listen but to he wants it. His, he I, I think, yeah, I think we, we have it. Can we hear it from the proverbial horse's, horse's mouth. mouth? Raila saying he's not looking for the president's endorsement. Yes, he has seven million attacked on endorsement. Sitaki. Endorsement Yohuru. Eh? Eh? Nikiaka. 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 And, and it's interesting uh, what I keep noticing that uh, you see Raila Odinga has not quite uh, come out to say I'm running, but you know, there are keep all these hints that keep coming up. <laughs> Um, I remember that same interview, he was asked, uh, it is a Mekana the last time, Madikona uh, Risa Simoja. Mm. Then, then he magazine. said, no, 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 I didn't say Nikona uh, <laughs> Moja. In fact, I have a magazine. <laughs> so so, so it, it looks like he's also in that space where on the one hand, uh, he doesn't want to come out and say, I am running. But on the other, he, he, he also doesn't want to uh, leave people guessing mm. too much. There's a whole one year to go to the next general election. And uh, every smart politician knows that in Kenya, picking early is a disadvantage. You had better keep your cards close to your chests mm. until the last the three months. Very quickly. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and, until the last three months when actually uh, the, the, the political environment takes shape. And I think this is what you're going to see from uh, politicians, whether it's Raila Odinga, whether it's Kalonzo Musyoka, you also have uh, Musalia Mudavadi. All these contenders who are looking at replacing President Uhuru Kenyatta. And why the scramble for Uhuru Kenyatta? There is a scramble for Uhuru Kenyatta because he is exiting, and I think on a strong in terms of regional politics. Because for the first time, and this is a point we will possibly make for a long time uh, on this set, uh, for the reason that there isn't a clear here in central Kenya. There isn't a clear, uh, you know, the, the way Uhuru Kenyatta stood out when uh, Mwai Kibaki was, was, uh, was exiting. Right now we have an environment in which you don't have a clear um, regional kingpin sort of uh, mm -hmm. in central Kenya, which is a vote-rich uh, area, which is why the person to go to right now is still Uhuru uh, Kenyatta, which is why you see Kalonzo Musyoka and you see Kalo, uh, uh, Raila Odinga, both of them basically making a beeline for, 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 the, for, the, for the president. Is it true he doesn't want his endorsement? I think it's, it's contained. Uh, a, vote is self -cont a vote is an endorsement. Yeah, so, like, like yeah. his isn't exactly one vote, no matter what other people might say. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, there's somebody who used to say he only needs two votes somewhere. <laughs> I will not go into details with that story. But <laughs> be it as it may, um, I look at it more in context. I was listening to the interview by Honorable Rai Laudinga, the ODM leader, and it gave me the impression that on one hand, the deputy president has made it clear that he's fine. Even the choice of his party is no longer in doubt. But on the other hand, who are his competitors? Who will he run against? Um, maybe he has a preferred contestant. But on the other hand, um, there's the One Kenya Alliance. There's the uh, talk of um, a coalition between ODM and Jubilee. But what I got, the impression that I got from uh, Honorable Raila Odinga is the workings of a super alliance, similar to what we saw in 2002. And actually, he mentioned about it um, on something of the sort, that super alliance, and I think it would be nice to hear from him once again. Mimi si jakata kuunga mtu, manaka tujazumuza kuunga mtu ngine mkono. Mimi nisema tuangalie yale wale ambayo wako tupime pime kwa mizani nani ana uwezo ya kushinda uchaguzi na mimi ndio hakika kama mwingine anaweza tutaunga mkono si zime lazima iwe Raila kitu muhimu zaidi ni kama kuna msetu hiyo msetu iwe na nguvu ya kuwezesha hiyo msetu kushinda uchaguzi sio tu ati sasa ni zamu zetu 
inaweza kuwa ni nizamu zako na wewe uende pale na mshowe uweze kupata kura hizi ambazo zinatakikana from what i heard him say it is let's come to the table and the question that will be on that table is what do you bring to the table it's, it's, it's normally a question that is very uncomfortable in the political environment. What do you bring to the table? Because you're talking about resources, votes, networks. Either you have all of them or one of them. So what do you bring to the table, number one? Number two, if you make the wrong choice of a candidate, will that coalition win? The answer would be no. So I hear him say, we must get the right candidate, we must ask the uncomfortable question of what do you bring to the table. So that this, the discussion is on. At you might, it says something very telling. Like you might say, this is my turn, but in the end, you really don't have the votes. OK, it's time to take this home. There's a, uh, there's a gentleman on Twitter who says, very soon, we'll see the government starting to tax unemployment. <laughs> <laughs> so 